The first known dragons were mentioned to have their lairs in the Fourteen Fires, a chain of volcanoes across the neck of the Valyrian Peninsula. The Valyrians, then peaceful shepherds, tamed the dragons with magic, even learned how to master and ride them as beasts of war. Thus they began expanding their influence from the peninsula to the rest of their continent forming the Valyrian Freehold. The dragons gave the decisive victory in the Giscari Wars during which the old Gies is burned to ashes by dragonfire, and the ever-expanding Freehold replaced the Giscari Empire as the dominant culture of Essos. The Roinar under Nymeria fled to dawn having no chance against the Valyrian dragons. 400 years before the War of the Five Kings, the entire Valyrian Empire was destroyed in a single day, during a cataclysmic volcanic eruption known as the Doom of Valyria. Most dragons, still lairing in the volcanoes, were killed outright. One Valyrian noble family, the Targaryens, survived the Doom on the distant island outpost of Dragonstone in the Narrow Sea, along with the last surviving Valyrian dragons. The last surviving dragons in the world were possessed by House Targaryen, the last Valyrians after the Cataclysm who used them to conquer and unify the Seven Kingdoms of Westeros 300 years before the War of the Five Kings. Most of the Targaryen dragons died in a civil war known as Dance of the Dragons about a century and a half later. And after that, the only dragons the Targaryens had were the size of cats. Soon after the civil war ended, the last Targaryen dragons died, and the species was considered to be extinct throughout the world.